Rinko Kamaruchi came to prominence in 2001 with a simultaneous publication of three photography books Utatane Japanese for Catnap, Hanabi Fireworks and Hanako after the young girl who is the subject. From the start, her images were intimate, poetic and often luminously beautiful. The world around her, whether her family, the sky, trees or insects, rendered sublime by her soft colors and eye for everyday majesty. Sixteen years and several acclaimed series later, Kamaruchi has broadened and deepened her gaze. In Amatsuchi, published in 2013, she portrayed the harsh, volcanic landscape of Japan's Mount Aso, a sacred site where Shinto rituals have been carried out for centuries. The book marked a stylistic departure, a move away from the intimate to a more distant standpoint, though somehow retaining her particular poetic sensitivity. She photographed the mountain during the traditional yakihata, or controlled burning of the land, which leads in time to a refertilizing of the soil. Kamaruchi pointed her camera at the heavens, framing the constellations, and at the vast landscape on which tiny figures toiled. Throughout, images of Buddhist ceremonies and rituals suggested an earthly cycle connected to the mysteries of time and transience through deep spiritual devotion. Chinese New Year revelers throw molten iron at the city walls in Hebei province, from Kawaruchi's halo. With Halo, Kamaruchi continues to explore these themes, structuring the narrative around three interrelated locations. She traveled to the southern coastal region of Izumo, where sacred flames are lit to welcome the gods to the beach at Inosano, and to the New Year celebrations in Hebei province, China, where revelers carry on the 500-year-old tradition of hurling molten iron against the city walls to create their own primitive version of fireworks. Into this mix of the spiritual and the viscerally physical, she weaves a third series about the wonder of the natural world, capturing the wintertime spectacle that is a murmuration of migratory birds along the southeast coast of England. Kamaruchi first became drawn to this spectacle while creating work for the 2010 photo biennial in Brighton, where each year thousands of starlings flock around the pier at dusk. It speaks volumes about Kawaruchi's style that she manages to create a seamless and mysterious atmosphere throughout, her images moving between the dazzlingly kinetic, showers of white-hot molten iron cascading around human figures and the tranquil moonlight reflected on shallow waves that resemble shifting sands as much as water. Halo is unified by an unapologetically sublime aesthetic, by a sense of wonder, and by her linking of the earthly and the celestial, the physical and the spiritual. Each series of images is grounded in a place but also in the lunar calendar, and in the Earth's seasonal rhythms. Here, the human is very much located in the heavenly. Moonlight on waves, from Kawaruchi's Halo. Photograph Rinko Kawaruchi It is hard not to see this work, and the shift in approach that precipitated it, as Kawaruchi's response to the Tohoku earthquake and tsunami of 2011, which caused death and destruction on an unprecedented scale for a modern natural disaster as well as triggering the Fukushima nuclear meltdown, the earthquake actually moved Honshu, the main island of Japan, more than two meters to the east and shifted the earth on its axis. The idea that our collective fate hangs in the balance of much greater elemental and cosmic forces is suggested throughout. Here, everything is connected. The short afterword makes clear how much Kawaruchi's images often resemble fragments of written poetry dust, snow, rain and scrap iron, spheres, all of them bird droppings. On a car bonnet the same, no different. In all of this, Rinko Kamaruchi is a singular presence in contemporary photography, both for her sustained pursuit of the quotidian sublime and for the recent turn her work has taken towards a much more searching, almost visionary, evocation of the earth, the heavens and all points between.